I guess, um, what are we, a week out and how are the nerves, how are you feeling? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fine at the moment. I know the nerves start picking up a little bit when you start doing public training sessions like this and you've got the crowd turning up, so the nerves are starting to build. Uh, Anthony Mundine's been very confident, says he's in the best shape of his life, despite being 43 years old. But what do you make of that? Look, I actually think he is in good shape. What I've seen of him, he looks in good shape anyway. And um, I'm impressed with what he's done. And I think he's, he's doing all, everything right for this fight because he wants to go out on a big bang. So I'm expecting the best Mundine out there. Do you really think he has pack and pack enough power to actually knock you out? Definitely. He's, he's last fought like over 80 kilos. So he's, he's definitely got power in his punches. He's got a lot of muscle. He's got a big frame. I've sparred against him before. And I know he's got some power w with him still. Jeff, uh, reports come out today that Mundine's already made weight. That's surprising. That is surprising. I I couldn't imagine him sitting at 71 kilos at the moment, so I think that might be a little fib. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, is that the selling point of this fight, do you think? Like you just said, like, you don't really know what he's capable of at that weight and what he can do. Like, there is a bit of an unknown about the whole thing. Yeah, it, it is unknown, but he has done it before. He's fought at, at 71 kilos before. He's even fought at 69 kilos before. So, but I've never done it. So I guess that, that that's the worry that I'm jumping up and he's coming down. He's going to be nice and strong and big at that weight. And he knows that. But uh, hopefully I can get over over the top of him because I feel nice and fresh at the moment. So, so why, why should the average punter turn up next Friday? Do you think what's the, what's Look, the I guess it's it's a real unknown with this fight, with, with Mundine and his boxing skills. And as you saw, I didn't do too well against a, a very good boxer over there in the US in that last fight. And hopefully I can learn from my mistakes and do better against Mundine, but Mundine's got that similar style and he's he's saying he's coming to upset me with that. So it's being back here, bring back some memories, mate, and obviously at Suncorp next week, so. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I love fighting in Brisbane, I love fighting at Suncorp. It's the best place I fought at. It's the highlight of my career and I can't wait to do it again next week. What about right here, though? Because obviously this is a special place for you too. Yeah, the, the last time I was here as well, it was a, with the many Pacquiao's um, thing, so it wasn't wasn't that long ago that I was actually here either, and it, it, it's bringing back memories. Yeah. Yeah. But there's still people turning up. They still had a fairly fairly good crowd here today, and um, hopefully we can do it all again. What do you think Mundine's greatest weakness is? Look, his his greatest weakness will probably be if he gets if he gets clipped. If he gets if I clip him nice and clean in the head, I think. He will be he will, will be wobbled and I will be able to get him down. He's got a history, doesn't he, of, of being knocked down. And he's, he's gone down quite a number of times. Yeah, well, especially in that fight against Cloddy, he got knocked down a fair few times. So credit to him, he was able to keep going, but um, I'm hoping he won't want to do that if he's in the ring with me. Do you think um, he might be underestimating him a little bit? I think so. I think that last fight that he saw me in, um, he's, he saw a lot of chinks in my armour, which there was, but. I probably wasn't thinking completely straight and I was versing an extremely good boxer, so uh, this time around it's going to be a lot different with Mundine. Obviously, um, I know that Vision was listening uh, the other day with the punching bag, mate. Talk us through what happened. <laughs> yeah, the punching bag. I've got a lot of lot of people commenting about that one. Uh, look, I've got to give credit to, to Cameron Hammond and Big Joe Goodall. They're, they're the first ones to split that a little bit, which is why it was taped but I was the first one to drop it completely, so that's what I was happy about. <laughs> Jeff, you, uh, you went 12 rounds this week in training. Uh, you think maybe if, if the fight goes the journey, you'll be better from there? Yeah, look, I've, I'm super fit at the moment. I've done, oh, what is it, 48 rounds in the last two weeks of sparring, so I've got the rounds out in, the, in that ring, and I can't wait to do that. I, I can do it on the night. I, hopefully I don't have to, but I can do it. Given Mundine's age, could that maybe be somewhere you can get him later in the, in the fight? Yeah, I think he's going to wear down pretty quickly. At, at 43, I think he's, his, his fitness might might be a test later in the rounds. But look, I, I've got to give it to him. He's an extreme athlete, so I won't put anything past him. So have you actually been able to eat some chocolate and some junk food? Definitely. I've been loving eating the chocolate. Like, it's, it's probably a little bit of a cheat every now and again. Not a lot of it, but just every now and again, I'll be able to have a chocolate and just keep me a little bit sane. <laughs> Joe's actually commented that you're, you're nicer, you're happier. Yeah, Joe's commented that he was, I'm so much easier to deal with. Normally this, at this stage, I'm like biting her head off and I've got a very short temper, but because I'm able to cruise with the, the diet a little bit more and, and she can at least eat some chocolate in front of me and me not bite her head off, that's, that's a lot easier. <laughs>